Hello, welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Quick Tips. My name is Kaya Maya and this quick tip is about shortcuts. There are, uh, I think, a few interesting tips where you can, in an overview, see where the busiest areas or mostly used roads are or where, where you can see all nodes on a, a, a road. I also have some tips you probably already know, but also for new players, maybe they don't know. So let's dive in. Oh, let's not dive in. Um, all the quick tips I will put, all, all the short keys, shortcut keys, um, I will put in it in the description of the video. Um, so let's dive in 2.0. Um, first of all, the function keys. Um, if you press F1, you can see here it, it enables the, the grid mode, the wireframe. If you, um, uh, this is easy for building. If you press F1 again, you can you get grid snapping, which means that every building you build will only snap to the to the cross sections of the grid. So to show you, um, let's take a building. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see I only build them on the, and this makes for easy. If, if you if, if you want to have ten buildings next to each each other, it's it's a bit different than if you don't snap to to grid. Um, if you um, press F1 again, you'll disable the grid, the wireframe. So, let's go to F2. Let's see here a little bit. F2 enables the height map. Here you see. I find this very easy to, to use if I uh, lay my tracks uh, for railway and, 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 and so. But it's also easy for sewage because you can kind of see, you know, what goes up and what goes down and sewage m m must go down uh, or, or you use a pump but whatever um so that's f that's not the subject of this video uh so then we have f3 then we go to the underground world here and which sh shows you the heating pipes or the underground uh, electricity cables and here's also an electricity cable we don't have sewage uh, enabled yet here so we won't see any of that but also you see the ped pedestrian tunnels and things like that so that's f3 then move to f4 um that's you see here if i press f4 you uh, you get near snapping what's near snapping near snapping is that if you want to create a road next to this it snaps to the already existing road it also go that also goes for tunnels and for bridges and for you know whatever you can imagine even for pipes and things like that all, all infrastructure actually so uh, with grid snapping you can see that the the cursor snaps here then i can just build a road and then if I put it off, you have to kind of, uh, you know, eyeball it. So, I, 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 I find it a very useful feature. I, I have a cheat sheet here on my tablet. And my tablet thought it should go in screen safe mode. So I have to turn it on. Okay. So, um, sorry for my ums. I'm, I have the habit when I don't know my English that I uh, say um, I, will, I will try to reduce it as much as possible but sorry so I didn't start with that. if you want to place a building uh, let's put the grid on and you can uh, rotate the building like so if you want to have a higher uh, a, a higher position you can press Ctrl and move the building like like so. If you want to uh, place the building but with the road the other side, you can press R, which rotates the building 90 degrees. Easy, right? So then, if we want to place a, a cableway pole, um, the you have various kinds of cableway poles. As I thought I saw someone say that with Q and E you can kind of differenti differentiate between those. But the heavier is not the higher. And 
what you can do like you place a cowboy pole like this and as Q and E you can higher or lower it it's higher or lower it um, you can use Q and E also to, to increase or decrease the height of um, um, bridges uh, you can use it on the ground to lower your sewage pipes or to lower your electricity cables so Q and E is actually to increase or decrease uh, um, the height the, the shortcuts we have uh, nine groups of sh shortcuts where you can uh, very easily get access to something you want to build how do you add stuff if for, for instance if i want to add a, a road i select the road i click on the desired uh, section or the, the spot and then you click the road and from that if you if you create or, or if you click this you you get access to the road you can also because this is number two press the two key and your road will be selected there are n nine or ten groups here uh, you can uh, you know fill all those groups up but if i wanted to go to group four i can press alt four to go to group number four um, i can also um, go a group down with f5 or go a group up with f6 well we're going two down and just to be complete if you want to remove this you click on it and you say and you say remove and here also f5 and f6 are expanded i see so um put this up if you want to hide the ui you can either press g or ctrl g and this hides the ui this is this I, I think this is a nice tip which i have now if you are looking for congestions in your road of your in your, in your road if you want to see what's mostly used you can press ctrl t you get an overview you you need to keep pressing it because if i release it, it's gone um and that there you can see the most heavily used road not per se where congestions is are but um, the, the, the darker, it was red there, and uh, well here it's probably red because well it's the entrance to the most used bus station or roads that you know are hardly used. Um, so I think that I, I, when I learned about it, I was you know I think I, I, I think most people don't know about this, or maybe I was just late and that I was the only one not knowing about it. But I think this is a great tip actually. If you have a vehicle which is either on a um, uh, distribution office or a construction office or a technical services, those kind of buildings. Um, and once you want to send a vehicle home to its depot, um, you can press on. I don't have a vehicle now because at, at the moment there isn't a lot of. Um, distribution going on but if you have such a vehicle and you s for instance this and you select such it, it won't work here but 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 i'm just and if you press ctrl h at this point the vehicle would have a depot like a technical service or a distribution office then the vehicle would be placed back into the distribution office and you know it will get uh, it's it's uh other or new um, uh, list of things to do um, um, I just want you to know if you have various vehicles open and you press ctrl H all vehicles will be sent to, to their correspondent um, uh, depots so just use it only on the vehicle you, you actually want to send then we can get our vehicle coordinates I'm not sure why you would use it, but I want to include it. So if you have your list of vehicles here, you want to show the coordinates, you can press Ctrl B and you can see the coordinates. Um, good to know, I think. Yeah, this is also a nice tip. 
when you build a railway track and you miss that tiny piece of track and you have to go all over the track that's a little bit of you know tiresome but if you press h at this point you can see all the nodes and this makes it a bit easier to see where pieces of track are missing um i yeah i use this a lot actually because i'm always missing pieces of track no not always sometimes if you press m for maria you toggle the minimap like this and if you have uh, build a road so and you want to get rid of uh, build a road I'm going to quick build this uh, so and you want to get rid of the the, the, the black or the, the dirt around it you can press N several times and then it will speed up the the removal of the the, the, the dirt the dirt or the soil, soil as you say, yeah. Yeah, when you're placing signals, if you hear snoring in the background, that's Maya the dog. I'm sorry for that. Um, if you are placing signals, your uh, railway track automatically changes to this blue and orange or purple uh, thing. If you think that it's a little bit annoying when placing your signals, because it's very colory. You can press Ctrl once, and that disables the coloring of 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 of. And you, for me, it's easier to see where your uh, um, signals are, and also easier to to change, in my opinion. All right, and now we're going to the cheat mode, which is if you press C H E for cheat, your cheat mode is activated. It's it doesn't work on every keyboard because um, I don't know what it's called anymore. But your keyboard mu must be able to register three keys as one keystroke, um, and not all keyboards do that. So when how to access the cheat mode? It's like uh, here, and then you have cheats enabled. You can do uh, various actions with objects. You can start a fire in an object, and for me, I mostly use the speed up of growing trees. Uh, because when I um, beautify, I like to see the results right away. And I don't want to wait a month or two and then come back. That's, that's annoying. Um, so take a look there, I think. Let me see. When, what you can do. I'm not in Windows window mode now. And I don't know if this trick actually is true. I haven't tried it. But if you hold Alt... Uh, it's supposed to be that there's some kind of oh yeah you don't have to hold alt anymore okay i think if you're in window mode in window mode you can kind of um re reposition the window or resize the window when holding alt and doing uh this yeah see you can resize the window i'm not sure i don't have a clue how this will um how, how this will be visible i just resized the window but i don't know if, if obs my recording software is is registering that and to be the complete the last most important tip which probably none of you know if you press escape you close the window sorry i needed to do that uh, i'm probably missing some um, um hotkeys or function keys or whatever if you know of any please let me know in the comments I am back. I forgot about the tip. One last minute tip. Uh, if you press F7 in your upper right corner, you see the current uh, frames per second. And especially if it's really slow, it's 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 nice to know uh, how many frames per second you have. So that was the last tip. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.